Okay, so this unseen poem, The Trees by Philip Larkin, what exactly is it about? So this poem, right, just the, the main, the, the key idea here is that it explores how trees seem to come back to life each spring, sprouting new leaves and appearing born again, while humans age and move closer to death. So that immediate juxtaposition, trees coming back to life and humans, they, they don't come back to life, they don't get any younger. They, well, we simply age uh, and move closer to death, the inevitability of death, simply. And Larkin uses this natural cycle uh, as a reflection on time, life, and renewal. That's, that's what I think, that's what I believe. I think that's the most correct answer here. So if you watch my Unseen poetry video, like how to prep for it, did I, did I not say these things about fauna and flora, flourishing and spring and all that good stuff? Like, didn't I, didn't I say that? Didn't I say that? Okay, anyway. It's the quick uh, lawn by lawn analysis here, my friends. So, uh, lines one to four. Here, uh, Larkin describes, simply put, the, the arrival of spring. The trees are growing new leaves and their renewal, uh, it feels like a form of communication or expression from nature. Uh, something rather hopeful and fresh. Okay, uh, stanza two, this is what I thought. The poet here questions whether trees are truly reborn. Like, are they, are they born again? We've got a rhetorical device here too. And he realizes that trees also die eventually. But their yearly renewal, it gives the illusion, illusion of immortality. And uh, the rings in their trunks mark uh, the passage of time. So as they go, grow older, they get these little rings, just as wrinkles do for humans. So there's a comparison here of wrinkles to the, the rings. So are they really reborn here? Lines 9 to 12, in my opinion here, so despite mortality, trees continue to renew themselves every year. These unresting castles, that, that's what I believe, that constant re re renewal. And it symbolizes their, their resilience and the repetition of afresh, afresh, afresh. Okay, om to to one. It emphasizes hope, endurance, and the endless renewal of life. Look, if you don't know what om to to one means, all, ask your Afrikaans friends, okay? They're going to say that for everything in Afrikaans paper too next week. I guarantee you. When in doubt, um to baklem to an waza. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's May. So, we live in the Southern Hemisphere. So, this is uh, the occurrence of spring in the Northern Hemisphere. So, UK, US, Russia, and so on and so on. So, let's get to the actual answers now. Okay, wait, 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 just, just before we do that, just to give you guys like a bit more insight. Um, just in terms of the themes here, just so it like, you know, because you can get like a nice generic answer here. Look, I this is what I think the memo will look like when I get into the actual questions. But if, if you're like kind of battling to like, okay, I didn't write that, but I feel like my answer is right. Let me just give you what I thought about the theme here. So, nature's renewal. That is... A very important theme, I felt. Uh, the trees symbolize the ongoing cycle of life in nature. Uh, mortality and, well, just how that links with time, okay, because you will eventually die. So humans grow old and die, but nature seems to continue forever. So this one, continuity. So hope and continuity. Uh, so even after death and decay, new life begins uh, again each spring. And the tone. Mm -hmm. It's reflective, I want to say, and philosophical. Moon School has the worst handwriting, eh? Like, you Yo, 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 saws. Yo, that's about it. Okay, just getting into the actual questions now. Let me just change color. So 5.1, uh, what does the phrase relax and spread in line three tell us about the buds? So there's line three here. Um, it shows that the buds are opening up uh, gently and naturally. So 5.1, it's gently and uh, naturally uh, as spring arrives. So the phrase, it suggests a sense of ease and growth. And this reflects how the trees unfold into new life. Uh, after winter. Uh, 5.2. Uh, lines 5 and 6 are here. Um, explain how this question conveys the speaker's attitude towards the, the trees. So our rhetorical device. So this rhetorical question, um, it shows the speaker's wonder and envy and substantiation coming now uh, toward the trees. And he marvels at how they seem to renew themselves each year uh, while humans age and decline, this juxtaposition, this compare and contrast. It reveals both admiration and as well as this personal reflection on the difference between human life and uh, nature cycles. Uh, 5.3.1, identify the figure of speech in line 9. It is a metaphor. 5.3.2, um, just an explanation of why it is a metaphor, sorry. Uh, the trees are compared to castles here, suggesting their strength, endurance, and uh, their, their grandeur, if I could put it like that. Uh, and no like or as was uh, utilized here. So it is a comparison without using like or as, it is going to be a metaphor for sure. 5.3.2, uh, uh, the effectiveness of this. So the metaphor of unresting castles, it effectively, it 
it conveys this this power and simply like the the majesty of the trees as they continually renew themselves so thresh thresh it evokes movement it evokes vitality showing that even though the trees are stationary and not well actually moving right they they they're stationary they're alive with energy and growth okay so it just captures the the strength and constant renewal of the trees uh, 5.4.1 identify the tone in lines 11 and 12. Uh, the tone here, I, I believed, was rather hopeful and optimistic. So it conveys renewal and the positive continuation of life. So my accounting kids, it's like it's giving going concern vibes. 5.4.2 critically discuss the effect of the repetition of a fresh in line 12. A fresh, a fresh, a fresh. So the repetition, it emphasizes uh, this, again, unstoppable renewal. It, it will happen. Okay, nature will always find a way. It creates this rhythmic sense of ongoing freshness and vitality. So there's, there's, there's a rhythm here. It's going to continually happen. There's a sequence. Sequences and series, sigma notation, ha ha. Reinforcing the theme that nature always begins anew uh, despite death or decay. So it highlights this simply, this endless cycle of rebirth and renewal. It's like Hinduism almost, like karma, reincarnation, if I could put it like that. Um, leaving the poem on a very hopeful and uplifting note. So we, we do end on a nice note. So yeah, uh, that's a nice little analysis here of the trees. I, I really hope you hit it on the head. And yeah, these this is what I think the answers should look like. This is my my opinion here. Please don't come for me in the comments. Good school, why, why do you know? Yeah, I tried my best. All right, all right. I tried my best on a Thursday. Yo, I've been working hard. Eh? Like I've been pushing myself to the brink making all of these videos and i'm i'm tired to be honest with you like like i tutor privately right like i'm not a teacher for those of you that are were wondering i'm not a teacher okay i'm a i'm a tutor i teach like pretty much everything as you guys can see there's like like 20 or so subjects on the channel and yeah we try our best to double in bits and pieces here and there but not necessarily dabbling it's a high quality education to be honest with you like i've tried my best to study all of these subjects in depth before i even thought about you know teaching it so yeah, just working crazy days, guys, like 14, 15, 16 hour days running on on caffeine, to be honest with you. I, I don't even like coffee, but I need that little boost just to keep going, keep moving. And yeah, this this is very enjoyable, but I, like, I hope you understand just the amount of time it takes to make a single video from deciding, okay, like, how am I going to make this slide? What's going to be on it? How do I position it effectively? Where am I going to write? The colors I'm going to use. Uh, choosing the thumbnail, choosing a title, uploading it at like the best possible time so that it gets the most amount of viewership. Like this is a whole thing. It's a whole system. I don't just post because I feel like it. I, I post like in the most optimal way. And not just that, it needs to seriously impact my students so that you guys find value in the videos and you'll keep coming back for more. Because ultimately here, I'm, I'm here to make a positive impact in your life. Okay. So we've got one major paper left, Afrikaans paper two, and best believe, okay, we're not done. It's one last dance with literature so yeah thank you for watching the video i really hope you all enjoyed it and uh, yeah let's uh let's keep let's keep going let's keep moving um a lot of people ask me like how can we get in contact with you for private tuition just just type it in the comments like say let me know if you're interested and i'll give you like the whatsapp number like my personal whatsapp number i don't want to put it in the video goodness i just kicked the bin by mistake yeah i won't put it like in the description or anything that's a bit strange um so yeah i'll just like private message you but yeah, thank, thanks for watching. Hey, good school is just yo hex bio hex bio much bra. Like I'm I'm tired. If I'm honest with you, like with a capital T. But we must keep moving. We must keep going. Like the matric final examinations are not done just yet. I mean, I mean people are effectively done next week Friday. But consumer kids, music kids, hospitality kids, uh, design, dance, music, all like the more niche kind of subjects they'll have to write. So yeah, I'm just kind of chilling here, man. Like this has uh, been a really crazy period in my life, to be honest. Like after losing my my poor dog like two months ago it's really impacted me like in a really <laughs> worst way like worst year of my life hands down but yeah at least Hoon school is a bit of a coping mechanism and yeah like ultimately the vision for the channel is for this to be like the go-to education channel in the country we're here to change the landscape of education in Mzanzi and I'm not going to stop every single cent of my own personal salary whatever little money that i make from youtube now because it's really not all that much believe you me it's just going to be reinvested in the channel just reinvested in better equipment and that from microphones to to track pads from yeah I, like the ladies who make like life science 
Afrikaans for me, I, I have to pay them a salary, right? Like no one is doing this out of the goodness of their, their heart, right? I, I cannot expect them to spend countless of hours doing something for free. So I must pay salaries as well. Wi-Fi, water, electricity, making sure that I can survive and that I can afford my soon to be bond. I can afford my little Kia Picanto that I drive. So yeah, it's, it's hectic, man. It's absolutely hectic. And I really hope this pays off. I really, really hope that Goon School, yeah, it, it changes and impacts lives. So yeah, thank you all for like just watching up to this point. If you, if you had the time, thank you for like really giving me your time uh, and just listening to my little like sob story here. But I appreciate it. So like behind all the cheesy, terrible jokes that you hear, like there is a real individual that is trying to make a genuine change in this ever so broken land. Because it's, it's very unequal, you know, you, you can't get to Santon without seeing Alex, you can't go to Belito without Shaka's Kral, right? You must go through Gugule to Langa if you want to go to VNA, C point. okay? It's the reality of being South African, we've got the highest Gini coefficient in the world, the highest level of inequality, and yeah, all of that has this trickle-down effect into education. It's unequal, you know, there are quintile one schools in the villages in like Limpopo, in KZN, in, in Northern Cape that are so under-resourced, to the, so under-resourced to the point where they don't even have toilets, let alone teachers at the school. And then you get all these posh, posh, IEB, QRO schools, yeah, whatever, great. But how is it that, you know, this can coexist in the same country? It just comes down to effect of the apartheid regime, poor leadership after that, and so on and so on. So I'm trying my best to rectify it here. And yeah, thank you for allowing me to do that. Thank you for giving me your time, the retention, the subscription, the likes. I, I truly, truly appreciate it. Literally from the bottom of my soul. Thank you. <laughs> Goon School's about to cry. But yeah, um, yeah, I wish you all the very best for the remaining uh, exams. And if you finish your papers today, uh, good luck for life and living. Like, yeah, it's been nice knowing you. Thanks for all the, the memories. Yeah, it's going to be a long fight, tape, hey? But I I'm here for the long run. Like, I'm going to dedicate my freaking life to education. Believe you me, even if I don't make all that much, even if I'm not making an impact, as long as one person benefits, that's that's really all that matters. So yeah, thank you. Okay, uh, love you, bye.